and we're off. Uh, good movement from both fighters. PG1, Lady of Rage in the red, Amanda Doss in the blue. Wow, what a dynamic matchup. 52 kg. I like that they're very quick here, trying to establish the job, moving around, getting inside, being aggressive. It's really a dynamic matchup. You know, both fighters have fast hands, they're fast on their feet. Similar styles here, and uh, I think it's good to see Amanda using the ring. You could see one Lady of Rage just walking her down there and taking it to her, and a good exchange there. Wow, look at these punches. Stiff jab there from Amanda Doss. And a return there from PG1. Good punches there from the red corner. Wow, look at these punches. Good movement there, getting out of a... Uh, can have that change. And calculated fighters, you know, they're watching, they're calculated, they're finding their rhythm. Good movement from Amanda and began to a clinch. These are very thoughtful exchanges. They're not uh, not reactive. They're kind of thinking through, trying to stop the job. Then they're going in there and banging it out, getting out, changing angles. I like it. I think it's clear to see that both our ladies are experienced in the ring. They're really showing some, some high level skills right now. And these are the kind of fights I'm talking about. Like, just some really, really, really high level boxing. Good. It's, it's a really close bout right now. It's a really close matchup. Some good skills being displayed right now. You know, Quinnet Boxing produces some really strong fighters. Nomad boxing, you know, over in the States, they're really, they're really having an impact over there. So it's good to see them stay in the ring tonight. Good, and some pressure there from Amanda Doss. Doesn't phase though, PG1. She's staying there, she's letting her hands go, she's taking the fight. She's saying, I'm not going to be bullied here. I am the Lady of Rage. And a great... This is a dynamic fight. Bound number two. So already you can see that some changes there from uh, from PG1. She's using that jab way more effective, you know, and good head movement. Amanda as well, she's coming forward. She's just putting that pressure on. Like that old hand right from red coming in. Sometimes she can lead with the right hand there, but it's coming back. Yeah. You might not be able to see all those punches, like there's some really like small shots just landing there and those take a toll on you, down to the body. Down to the head, a good punch there from Amanda Doss. Right hand lands clean. Good. PG1 coming back again. We want to see some offense right now. And a good uppercut. Oh, and a good left hook. Right hook. Right hook from uh, PG1. Good head movement. You can hear Nomad Boxing coach saying, follow with the jab, follow with the jab. Left hook there screams Quinnett Boxing's corner. And the clinch there working. And you know what I like about Amanda? She works really hard even on the inside. Like, she doesn't waste any opportunity. She gets in and she lets her hands go and she's like, yo, I don't mind if they, if they don't score. I just want to, I just want to let my hands go. I just want to get this lady. Oh, uh, that's a punch there in the break it looks like. Quick warning, but it's okay. We're back in. Right, uh, lead hand there. Both orthodox boxers. Good right hand there lands from uh, from red corner. Ten seconds left. They're gonna let hands go now. Good. PG1 there coming forward. Good. And a small punch after the. Yeah, it's a huge. Uh, it's a packed uh, crowd tonight. A lot of people came out. And we're away. Championship round. Oh, she sneaks in an uppercut and turns her. Back to the job, back to the job. Good. Some good inside bots in there. Good lead hand. Lead hook there from Amanda Doss. 
Oh, and an attempted uppercut. And those uppercuts have been having some, some good success there for, uh, for the lady. The punches there from Amanda Doss. And Shannon, some big punches now. Yeah, that those hooks keep getting um keep landing there from Amanda. She keeps getting um one with those punches. One not settling though. Every time she hits you hit, screams quit next corner. Follow up with that two. Says the coach from Nomad Boxing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's those small movements that make the fight so dynamic. Like, yeah, Amanda, like, she did this last year as well. She just definitely, like, has a way in the ring. She just gets her groove and it's just hard to stop her, right? But, you know, it's a great matchup having her with uh, PG1 because PG. Yes, she's no pushover. She's gonna come, she's gonna fight you, she's gonna leave it all in the ring, and you can see that right now. All the way to the bell, like wow, what a matchup. Split decision. Split decision. In the red corner, okay. Right, PG1 doing just enough there to get the split decision. Wow. I won't lie, I personally thought Blue had it, personally, but it was so close.